welcome from the home of the Mets, City Field in Queens, New York. The show has an NL East matchup. The Atlanta Braves going up against the New York. First pitch moments away. And today's starter, Buddy Beaver. What do you have on here? So dominant in his last start. Double digit strikeouts. It's going to be interesting today to see if he's able to have command of his secondary pitches the way he did last time out. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one down. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Vaughn Grissom. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One ball, no strikes. There's a strike. One, one. Out to short, and it's through for a hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just one of those seeing eye base hits through the infield. He just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. And that one is lifted in the air. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And there's two down. That is cool. the white and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. In there, and it's 0-1. Acuna's signing bonus wasn't astronomical. Only $100,000, but a lot of talent as far as the family. His dad, Ron, was a minor league outfielder, and his grandfather, Romo, was a pitcher in the Houston organization. That's Next down, offering is downstairs. Yeah, when you just look at that uh, lineage, I mean, for him coming from oh, yeah. Venezuela, you got to imagine that, it, you know, he's going to be a big leaguer with that type of, you know, training and coaching that you've had at home. Towards first, and it gets by him. Here's a 2 2. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. And Acuna's two younger brothers, Brian and Luis Angel, are in professional baseball right now playing in the minor leagues. And now the lefty. On a line, base hit. And that's going to roll to the wall. Grissom around third. He scores, and it's 1 0. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're seeing high speeds day after day, and a nice job of turning that one around. Here is Matt Olson. Left field. Flashes the leather on the run and catch. And that is that. Acuna with the key double this inning. It's now 1 0. Major League Baseball is on. Stepping in the long ball threat, Tom Peanuts. The right field. Peanuts. The wind and the pitch. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And that skips in the dirt. We talk so much about how starting pitchers prepare for their starts. I talked with Max Fried, and one of the things he told me back in 19, he and Lucas Giolito started using MLB The Show to go over scouting reports. Throw on to Olsen. Off one down. Eric Ruiz will hit next. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Max said he's not sure who actually started at first, but it was 2019, and he and Giolito, who were teammates together in high school in Los Angeles, they had the idea to become more familiar with the opposing lineup using MLB The Show. Next offering is in for a strike. One and two. In the dirt. Throws to first. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home. First, two away. Two outs, base is empty. Stanley Dutch up now for the Mets. Sliced hard, but foul. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. 
it can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Mets go. Back here at City Field. And here's the catcher, Travis Darno. Beaver back to work. That misses. One and oh. One note on Travis Darno. He was drafted by the Philadelphia Phillies in the first round. Twice he was traded for Cy Young Award winners. Roy Halladay as he moved from the Phillies to the Jays and then on from the Jays to the Mets for R.A. Dickey. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. That one missing inside. The 2-2 two -two now. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 2-2 two -two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. The pitch. That oh. one missed. Down and full. Bounce to the left side. Foul and ball. foul ball. 3-2. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Pulled the string of the changeup. Here is Ozzy Albies up to hit. Pitch misses. And that's ball one. And a swing and a miss there. One ball, one strike. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul straight back. And a 1-2. Swing and a miss, struck him out. He swung over top of the curveball. Here's Kevin Pillar. That right, one's in there, 0-1. Chop to third, Dutch. Fires over to first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning for the Braves. Braves go down quickly here, but they still lead it. Back here in Queens, here's a big power threat Elroy Hennessy. The wind of the pitch. Chases that one upstairs. Freed, a former Gold Glove winner, he features a four seam fastball, a curb, a slider, a sinker, and he works in a changeup. That one pushed foul. You know, Singy, this is true. Max Freed, the night before his starts, will sit down and take his scouting report and play MLB the show to see how his pitches work against the other team. That's pretty impressive right there. Harris tracks it down for the out. Man, is he fast. It's so fun to watch. Here's the center fielder, Jim Griffey. He's a guy who does it all. That one out to right. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. Jimmy Kimball, the next to hit. Fourth on the National League RBI leaderboard. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Everyone can have a little chuckle there. He's had such a great season. Rarely ever do you see that kind of swing. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Got it by him for the K. Nothing doing for the Mets. Top half of the third inning, and now here's a speed threat. Outfielder, Eli White. Next pitch That's downstairs, ball. ball one. White one goes out. six feet, three inches, 28 years old. And they went out and made a trade for him last season. In the air, center field. Griffey pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. So digging in, Michael Harris. First offering, misses the mark. Harris hitting leadoff in today's game. And he's a former Rookie of the Year. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Long run, tracks it down. And there are two outs. Two outs, base is empty. 
Vaughn Grissom getting ready to hit. That one ripped. Pulls it in on the warning track. And the Braves go down quietly, but they're on top, 1-0. Ready to go for the last Noodle. half of the inning. So now here's the Mets DH. Nap Noodles. And it's fouled away. Some background on Max Freed. He grew up in Los Angeles. He pitched his high school ball at Harvard Westlake. And he was teammates there with Jack Flaherty one, one. and Lucas Giolito. Kicks and deals. Good eye right oh. there. Freed in high school wore number 32 because he loved Sandy Koufax. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it, and he makes the catch. And there's one down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrating with himself until his next at bat. And that one hammered. That's got a chance. And out of here. A shot to left. His seventh home run of the season. And we're level. It's 1-1. It's Frankie Lindor. Ground ball, Austin Riley. Tosses to first. Lindor retired. The right field. And now it's going to be Tom Peanuts. Grounded out his first time. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. Okay, swing now. He had his mind made up. As soon as that ball left the hand of the pitcher, he was going to swing at it. Hard hit, right side. Albies over to first, in time. Third out. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. All even now at 1-1. You're watching Mets baseball on the show, NYC. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Now the third baseman, Austin Riley. Beaver, back to work. And takes low for ball one. Austin Riley, a guy that's turned one into ball, one of right. the young stars in the National League. Chris, yeah. he's got big time power. And now it's even up. He's got power, and he's also been able to develop the glove defensively. Another guy that Ron Washington's helped go to the next level. Now he doesn't have to worry about making mistakes defensively, and he can have better at bats oh. because of it. Next pitch misses outside. Two balls, two strikes. Struck him out without a swing. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher on the same page right now. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. First offering, and it just misses. Swings through that one for strike one. The 1-1. One -one. And another ball. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at-bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. And a swing and a miss. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. And now Matt Olson up to hit. And that one no, just that misses ball. a ball and no strikes. 
at a strike. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the inning, and stepping in is the speedy Eric Ruiz. The pitch. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, great stop. And they get the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. And that'll fire the boys up for sure. And first offering is fouled off. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit. Just not able to square it up. And that one wrapped foul. And a pitch. And ball one. It's a good take. One, two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Perfectly executed 12-6 curveball yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah. And with that no kind of break, here. if you can drop oh, it in below the zone oh, like that, oh. it's going to look like a strike the entire way coming in and then just disappear. So hard to get under the no ball one. unless you're really gearing up for it and you might need a pitching wedge. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Not a swing you want to watch again. Swings and misses, and good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Ready now for the fifth inning. Digging in, Travis Darno. Fly ball down the line. And a quick out, number one. Woo, he was all over that first pitch fastball, just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Albies oh. takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next offering is in for a strike. Ziggy, how about this? Ozzy speaks four languages, English, Spanish, Dutch, and Papiamentu. Well, with the way the game's expanding, that can be very helpful. His meetings at the mound. Ozzy Albies, he can uh, translate for everyone. Albies tries to hold up, appeal to first. That's a swing, according to umpire Woody Keller. Pilar stands in now and watches oh, and strike one. one. Oh, and two as he waves at that oh, one. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Pilar checks his swing. Now it appeal to first. No swing. Good. Struck him out looking. And welcome back. Now here is Jim Griffey. And a pitch. And misses inside. Well, these Mets just aren't putting together very many good at-bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They have guys in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. Not in time, and he reaches safely. It was a healthy cut, but the same can't be said for the contact. He got just enough of the ball to put it in play, and that's all he needed. Tough play for the defense on what was kind of a swinging ball. In the dirt, but kept close. And an excellent job keeping it right there. Griffey on at first. Nobody out. Next pitch is outside. And the count is one and one. Kicks and fires. And there's a foul ball with two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of a double play here. The one two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Here's a speed threat, Nap Noodles. 
Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. And next for the Mets, Chase Jumbo. The solo homer his first time. That hits the dirt. And that is ball one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boy. Swing and a miss. Strike one. one. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Oh. The next offering misses, and it's two and two one. Tough spot right. right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. 2-2 two, two on the way. Way to lay off that pitch down. Francisco Lindor to bat next. Two on, one out. And that's ripped for a base hit. Runner around third. He will score. It's 2-1. In there safely. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring it back. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Line drive. Just inside the line, and it's down for a knock. One run is in. Jumbo coming home. Lay it home. He's safe. And they're up by three. Waste no time there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. So up next for New York, Tom Peanuts. This guy, one of the best contact men in the sport as well, outstanding nope, on the defensive ball. end. And Boog, I'd say he's due. One one now. And that clips the inside corner. Movement in the Atlanta bullpen. Dylan Lee getting ready to come in for manager Brian Snicker. McHugh, a right hander, loosening up as well. The one two. Two two. Runner at second here, one gone. Pitch misses there. Counts full three and two. Next offering is fouled back. Runner leads away at second. Rips one to right, and that's a base hit. Oh, the throw is wild. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Tag, not in time. He's safe. It's 5-1. Well, that right there is a pretty clear example of why making a clean, on-target throw back into the infield is so critical. But so many times, it's easily overlooked. You can't be careless about it as an outfielder. Doesn't matter if you're throwing to a base or a cutoff. Man. Ian Anderson gets handed the rock out of the pen. Well, walks have been a big issue for him this year, so I expect these hitters to be patient up there. And now, Eric Ruiz. Next offering is down low. And that's ball one. Bounce to the right side. Sends it to first. Two away down. And stepping in for New York, Stanley Dutch. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Peanuts on third with two out. Wouldn't chase That's that time. One and one. Next offering is fouled back. The one two. 
Got him looking for the K. Froze him with the heater at the knees. Back here at City Field. Now the left fielder, Eli White. Ball one, no strikes. These two offenses can put up runs in a hurry. Next pitch misses inside. Now 2-0. Oh. Well, no a big lead like this is comfortable many times, but not when these two teams are matching up. you got to continue to keep your head down, play catch with that catcher, and just try to move through this lineup. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Peanuts makes the play, and there's one away. They've got a potent lineup, and when you think about teams capable of rallying from this kind of deficit, they're right at the top of the list. Harris up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. And delivers outside. Liner caught it second. Two outs, space is empty. And now Vaughn Grissom. There's a strike. Grissom goes six feet, three inches, 22 years old. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. And it gets down for a base hit. And that means Austin Riley will have a chance to hit. Here's Austin Riley. This to center field. Makes the catch inning over. One hit, one left to the bottom of the back here in Queens bottom of the six and stepping in for New York Elroy Hennessy first one offering ball, misses no badly for ball one Anderson a 6-3 righty he features a four seam fastball a change up a curve and he works in a two seamer the one one Awkward swing there from the big left-handed hitter. Off balance as well. Next offering Good way deal. off the plate. And downstairs. Oh, no. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Next offering is foul back. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that walk. And first offering is fouled off. Next offering is foul back. Fights it off, you'll see another. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Harris hauls it in, and there's one away. Now batting, catcher, catcher, Jimmy Kimball. Jimmy Kimball now at the plate. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. First pitch oh, swinging. Right. Always tough to turn two on a speedster like this. It's even harder with him coming out of the left-handed batter's box. You really need something to hit hard on the ground that they can handle hey. to turn two quickly. Move over to first, trying to keep him close. Hennessy over at first with one away. Next pitch oh. inside. And it's one and one. One, one.
Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Man at first, Nap Noodles digs in now, one for two. This one in the air right field. And Acuna able to make the grab, and that is that. New inning getting started, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr., that misses the zone. Ball one. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. He swings and fouls one off. The 1-1. One -one. And that one fouled off. Swing and a base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. Here's Matt Olson. First pitch the doesn't find the zone. If you're going to get something going, One this is the up. time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, ah. I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Nobody out. Runner at first. The one two that's out to center field hauls it in for the out up next for it man at first Travis Darno next up for the Braves pitch misses inside and that's ball one Good eye right there. He's been raking in recent games and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that. Lindor, that's one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. Starting to run out of outs as they're unable to chip away. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Mets five and the Braves one. Welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the second baseman, Chase Jumbo. Anderson back to work. Way inside, gets out of the way. And it's even up. I'll tell you what, he's embarrassed right now. Never swings at that kind of pitch, especially that early in the count. Righty delivers. Back up the middle and a base hit. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Everything came together for him. Absolutely hammered that baseball very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Liner, base hit. Lead runner touches second, headed for third. The throw in, not in time. And we've got runners at first and third to open the inning. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. Just a simple, soft liner in the center field for the knock right there. Maybe a little bit fooled by the pitch, but he did a good job of staying through it. There's a swing and a drive. Bounces off the wall as he makes the grab. In comes the run from third to add on. And the lead is up to five. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Eric Ruiz up now for the Mets. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. And the first offering is not close. And there's a ball. the ball. Oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. That one is absolutely belted. And gone! A tower.
scoring shot to right. And they boost their lead. It's 8-1. Swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The 0 2. Hacks and misses, it's a strikeout. Stood absolutely no chance on that slider right there, and I don't mean to laugh, but that's a tough one. I mean, pretty much a perfect strikeout pitch. I mean, it looks like a fastball middle in, kind of has cutter action, and it just bunches you up to where you can't get your hands through and the barrel to it. And not much you can do unless you recognize the spin early and you spit on it. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Dylan Lee, the left-hander, up and throwing. Next yeah. pitch is oh. downstairs. And that one outside, off the outside ball. edge. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. Check swing. He held up. And it's a full count. And he deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. That's his second strikeout. But they strike for three in the inning. Two on this two-run home run. It's now eight to one. Back after this. Back here at the ballpark. And now it's the switch inning second baseman, Ozzy Albies. There's a strike. Beaver still out there to pitch the eighth and working with a big lead. He's been excellent, really on his game in this one. And at this point, he wants to finish what he started. Here's a 1-1. That one fouled off. Is there a debate to be had about shutting him down, maybe to preserve some bullets given the score? Absolutely. When you consider no, over the not. course of a long season, guys putting a lot of stress on that elbow, on that shoulder, but you also have to pry the ball out of a hand of a guy like this because he's so competitive. And the pitch. He goes down looking. Oh, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. And he's down 0-2 oh, oh, as he swings oh, through it. That's down and oh, in. Ball, two Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. And down on strikes. Two down. Now in for the Braves, Eli White. Out to short, Lindor. To first. And that is the third out of the inning. Down in order go the Braves. It's still an eight. And welcome back. Out of the bottom of the eighth, digging in is the switch inning outfielder, Jim Griffey. Swings and misses. And that is strike one. Next pitch has popped up. And there's one down. And now the switch inning catcher, Jimmy Kimball. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And a foul ball. The 
the pitch. Foul ball. The 0 2. Good job to fight that one off. Got him. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. A try to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Noodles in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Now there's a certain point where you have to commit to what you think you see, and he guessed wrong right there. Nasty slider with just terrific bite at the end. Swung on, belted. That one's back. Out of here. He circles the bases, his 12th of the season, and they tack one on the board. It's 9-1. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit b law wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. And the batter now, Chase Jumbo. To the left side, but it is well foul. Pitch misses. One and one. And one and one. Yeah. And that's through there for a strike. Man, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Righty to the plate. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. Last chance coming up here for the Braves. Back here at City Field, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now the leadoff spot for the Braves, Michael Harris. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Slapped foul. The punch out there, one away. Committed to that breaking ball just a little too much and couldn't pull the bat back in time. Well, once you get it going, it can be so tough to stop the momentum with that barrel. Good pitch, had him fooled. Grissom in the box now, no balls and a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Going to count one, one and two. two. Well, just very efficient out there on the mound. I mean, just a great outing. He's just now getting to 100 pitches. And a base hit into right. And that's going to get into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe. With that fastball, even though it's high velocity, you've got to live on the outer edges. When it's right on a tee, right down the middle, professional hitters are not going to have a problem turning it around. Next to hit, Austin Riley. Peanuts in position. He's got it. Two away. Here's Acuna now. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. I always say it's the best pitch in baseball. Strike one. You get ahead on a good hitter as well. Gives a little bit more confidence to move through the at bat. Deal two. Oh. One and two. Next offering oh, is outside. Down. the mark there and that's ball three Full count. man on second two down keeps the at bat going with a foul ball man at second battling here as he fouls it away
The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. Olsen in the box with two gone, and takes a look at a called strike. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, no, he threw it home. And he'll be safe at first. <laughs> Base is full, two Atlanta. gone. And next okay. for Atlanta, Travis Darno. In the air, left field. He puts it away, and that'll do it. The Mets slug their way to a win in this one. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing.